It's Dave Aarons here. Thanks for uh, joining in. Uh, continuing on with uh, starting to learn basic woodworking, just with uh, using a pocket knife and just getting a feel for how wood works. This time we're going to talk about cross cuts. Okay, so cross cuts is where we're going to actually cut across the fibers of the wood. Okay, so we're actually going to sever those fibers of the wood, and um, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. So so, the best way to start that is to pick where you want to make your cross cut at. So I want to come down, let's say maybe, you know, that far. I'm just going to eyeball it. This is just practicing anyway. And I'm going to push the knife into the wood. Okay. I'm going to come in at an uh, angle. And that's going to pull out a chip. Come a little bit deeper. Go to this side and do the same thing. Watch this finger. This finger, is, for me, is notorious for getting too close, and that's where I usually end up getting cut. So I want to make sure I come down here, move my fingers down here. I'm going to use my thumb to assist a little bit, okay? Just take it easy. Take it nice and slow. Push the blade into the wood until you can feel resistance. Back off, and then you come to the other side. Okay. I'm going to eyeball straight across here. I'm going to start on the other side as well. Making my goose cuts. I'm going to start the knuckle. And I'm constantly telling myself that. I move that finger out of the way. This is southern yellow pine. And uh, where we live at, it's pretty prevalent. It's not the best stuff for. Uh, doing this kind of thing with, but um, it's cheap and I can find it and uh, it's pretty good for practice. The problem with southern yellow pine is the way the resin is in the wood. So what you're fighting against with, with a lot of the softwoods is you have this lighter color it, um, that's the actual wood, then you have this darker color, that's resin, and you have, you know, but, you know, wood fibers, resin, wood fibers, resin. So what ends up ha happening is when you're going across, it's just like cutting across a sponge, and then you, when you get to the resin, it's like a steel plate. When you do the resin, and then you cut through the sponge again, it gets real easy, and then you're back to a steel plate. The resin in the southern yellow pine is notoriously tough, okay? But, there's a lot of it around where we live at, and uh, it's really good for uh, the construction industry, so you're able to find it at the home center pretty easy. You'll see later on if we keep on going through this. I, I, there's a lot of things I, I do prefer southern yellow pine for. Okay. So I'm going to motivate through this. A little bit off there in my cuts. I'm going to even that out. Okay. I'm getting pretty close to going all the way through here. I know that if I uh, push too hard that this thing's going to pop off and when that pops off this knife is going to want to slip so now I want to be very careful with my cuts I don't want to do that I'm going to keep myself safe knuckle again got to keep that down there okay We can a little bit more. So we get right here, right here. Put that knuckle down. So I come up here and I'm gonna weaken it. 
Now I'm pretty much all the way through. I don't want that knife to slip on me. So right here, I'm just gonna break it. Get those little things off. Continue on with cross cuts. Now what we want to do is we want to level this surface off. Get rid of that little nubby thing right there. Ooh, watch out. That's why you gotta slow down. seems counterintuitive but sometimes coming back this way you should thumb way down okay just move the knife towards you very small movements just taking your time okay trying to keep control all right so i'm gonna level that off okay and with the stick that we did last time that's what i did is i did my cross cuts and then i leveled it off okay and another thing you can do with cross cuts is um, you can notch these things. Okay, so I put a little groove, a little V groove, all the way around. So, you know, think of like a guy line for your tent. Okay, you go in there. So, next time we, um, my next video will be on doing oblique cuts where you are going, you're severing fibers, but you're doing it at an angle. And you're, you're going with the grain at the same time, okay? And we'll point this and uh, we'll probably turn this into a, like a tent peg or something, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, be careful. You saw me once there where that knife kind of slipped a bit, you, you know. So don't let yourself get into a rush. But uh, keep it safe. Um, take your time. Slow down. And uh, just... Learn, once again, learn by that process of discovery. That's how I got going with this, is just playing around with the stick. You know, every boy needs to just get out of the woods, grab a stick in the backyard, whatever, and grab their little pocket knife and just figure out how wood works like that. So that's what we're doing. So, my tool for this week is actually this antique oiler, okay? And this is for maintenance for your knife because we just used it on greenwood, okay? And I just used it on greenwood to make that notch. So with this antique oiler, what I did is I filled it with 3-in-1 oil that I get from the home center. And this is to maintain my knife. And it's a little drop right there. A little drop right there. With the edge facing away from me, from the back of the blade, I'm going to take my t-shirt. A little piece of t-shirt I got here. I'm going to wipe that oil on there. It goes right around this lock ring. I'm going to push my lock ring along here. I'm going to shut that knife. Lock it shut. I'm going to wipe it down here too. Okay. I always use the same little piece of t-shirt when I'm oiling these things. After a while I get saturated with oil, saturated with oil, and you really don't have to put your drops in your blade. You know, every other time or every other you know every other few times and most of the time you just wipe it down because this this will be pretty saturated for you thank you